Alright, so tonight I'm going to show y'all how to make Texas Twinkies. It is jalapenos stuffed with a mixture of cream cheese, cheddar jack cheese, brisket. Then they are wrapped in bacon and basted with a little bit of barbecue sauce. So the first step is going to be de-seeding these jalapenos. I'm getting a glove so I will not touch them. Right, so if you're going to be messing with jalapenos, you definitely want to wear a glove on the hand that you're touching them with because you will regret it if you don't because you will touch your eyes, you'll touch your nose, your mouth, and it will burn. So I'm just going to cut the tops off these jalapenos. I got this new little tool off of Amazon and it is supposed to take the veins and the seeds out of the jalapeno. Come on. Those look at that. So we can just stuff the little stuffing right inside. See how it did that? Where are you going, Ricky? Oh, I just wanted to see you do for one. Oh. Okay, so Ricky said he wanted to stay in here and help me, and that lasted two seconds. So I am going to boil my jalapenos for about five minutes just to get some of the heat out of them. Otherwise, I will not be able to enjoy them and eat them. So once we've done this hollowed it out it'll be perfect to stuff so let me get the rest of these done bad guys if you use if you make jalapeno pepper, uh, poppers a lot you have to get one of these it is look at this it just takes the whole core out takes your seeds out it comes out in one piece when it does come out. hold on look at that all comes out takes the work out of it you don't have to cut them in half this is awesome i wish i would have gotten these along this a long time ago oops we are going to go ahead and make our filling. I'm going to take this brisket and I'm going to blitz it up to break it up. I'm going to put it in my little food processor. Hopefully everything fits. The blade is in there. Sometimes I forget it. So we're going to do it little by little since my food processor isn't that big. So let's add a little bit more. Now I did soften the cream cheese, but this didn't work very well. Get in there. to invest one of these days in a bigger food processor. Come on. I'm waiting for it to get that big, big piece right there. I might do this soon. Hold on. Okay, my peppers are done. I'm going to take them out and put them in a colander to drain and cool. You only do them for five to seven minutes. You're not trying to soften them. You're just trying to take some of that bite out of them. Okay, so we'll let these drain. All right, let me get... up the rest of this hopefully it goes and this is just that brisket I bought back from Bucky's specifically for those reasons make the rest of this. 
Let me get my cream cheese, which is right here. I kind of don't know if I should use the mixer for this or this. I don't think this food processor, I think it's going to get stuck in the food processor. So maybe I'll use the hand mixer and see how that works. Let me get this out of the way. I have my cream cheese in this bowl. I'm just going to kind of whip it up a little. this cheddar jack, which I'm kind of using the rest of the container that they're in. I'm going to kind of just estimate. Should bring some of the cream cheese out of the blade. better with my KitchenAid, but I'm too lazy to get it out. Okay, so let's start adding the brisket in there. get it out of the blades because it's all stuck in there. Jalapenos. So let's give this a good stir. Looks to be mixed up pretty well. Okay, let me get my jalapenos. Here they are. Not as bright green as they once were, but they're still good. Let me get a spin. I wonder if it would be better to use my hands. I don't know. So we're just going to stuff them full of this stuffing. Okay, let me get my sheet pan out. So we're going to stuff these and then we are going to put them on this sheet and then we're going to wrap them in bacon and then we're going to bake them. Normally we'd grill them, but I do not have a grill outside there. So let me get the rest of these stuff and I'll come back. So our final step in these is to wrap it in bacon. They're a little overstuffed because I had some filling left over and I did not want to waste it. So we are going to wrap these. Bacon, just like you would a regular jalapeno popper.
Yeah. Ricky, I'm recording. All right, let me get the rest of these done. All right, here they are, and I'm fixing to baste them with this Bucky's barbecue sauce that I got. All right, now I'm just gonna put some barbecue sauce on each of them. This little squirt top isn't squirting very well. Okay, so we're just gonna take this, brush it, and then in the middle of baking these, we will flip them over. I guess I could just go like that, yeah. Now, uh, these are gonna go in the oven at 400 for about 20 minutes or until the bacon is fully cooked. See, I'm kind of just flipping them over. It might be easier just to do this with my hands instead of this brush. Your hands are always your best tools as long as they're clean. So we're flipping these over. Let me wash my hands real fast. Just so I can get this barbecue sauce. These look so good. They're gonna be so good. All right, they're going in the oven now. Now the filling did seep out just a little bit, but I'll just kind of shove it in there before I serve these up. All right guys, so this week is Ricky's spring break, so you're not gonna see any lunch videos, but tonight we are watching our show and having a treat. I made those Texas Twinkies. The full recipe will be on YouTube and Instagram later, but here's what they look like when they're done. And I'm fixing to try them. This is the first time I've made them, so I will let you know what I think of them. All right, so here is a close-up look at them. All right, here we go. I'm going to try it. Hot. Little hot. Oh, hot. Oh, um. It was very good. They don't taste like regular jalapeno poppers, but they're really good. They have a different barbecue-y taste. So, what do you think, Ricky? That's good. 